Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, classic tune by Cole Porter. This version made famous by Frank Sinatra, but I took some liberties with it, so it might sound a little different from what you're used to. I'm going to play it, then we'll talk about it. A stocking was looked on as something shocking. Now heaven knows anything goes. And good authors, too, who once knew better words, now only use whole letter words. Right in the pro. to uh, spice it up but it's got the classic chords um, it's a lot of fun to play let's talk about it so what we got is standard tuning always nice so in the Frank Sinatra version um, he modulates midway through because it twice modulates uh, so I didn't do that stayed in one key um, in the key that he starts at a flat major. So that's our first chord. So uh, basic, you know, good old fashioned basic A flat major chord, bar chord. So you're gonna place your uh, index across the fourth fret. Index stays there. Middle finger goes on the fifth fret of G. Pinky on the sixth fret of D. Ring on the sixth fret of A. This is our first chord. Uh, in olden days a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. All he does is he goes to a dominant seven. So all you gotta do is take that major bar shape that you got, take off your pinky. And then, again, I took my liberties with this. I think it sounds all right. Um, from there, so we go, uh, in olden days a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. Now heaven knows. So, um, this is um, B flat minor seven. So you're gonna bar across the sixth fret and put your ring finger on the 8th fret of the A string. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the lyrics. Anyway, um, so we got this chord. And then we have a uh, E-flat 9. After that, so that's middle finger on the 6th fret of A, index on the 5th fret of D, Ring on the 6th fret of G, pinky on the 6th fret of B. Anything goes. Back to our home key, back to uh, the A flat. 
So again, we got our um, A flat. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was. Take your pinky off or the A, uh, whatever. Keep on messing up the things. A flat seven. Something shocking now, heaven knows. We've got our uh, B flat minor seven. Now, heaven knows. To the E flat nine. Anything goes back to the A flat major. And then that pivot chord. Uh, anything goes and good authors. So for the uh, and, you're just gonna basically, you're basically playing like a C7. But you're gonna bring it all the way up to the sixth fret. So ring finger on the 6th fret of A, middle on the 5th fret of D, pinky on the 6th fret of G, index on the 4th fret of B. And good authors too, who once knew better words, now only use four letter words, right in prose, anything goes. That's it. Uh, those are our verses. Our bridge. The world is gone mad. Oh, sorry. The world's gone mad in a C minor. Um, or you could do a C minor seven, but let's just do C minor. Uh, bar across the third fret. No need for the E string, just from the A string down. Middle finger on the Fourth fret of B, ring finger, uh, sorry, uh, pinky on the fifth fret of G, ring finger on the fifth fret of D. So you've got three, five, five, four, three. The world's gone mad. And then I throw in that sort of doo wop wop. Sort of spice it up. Um, and it's bad. This is just a G dominant seven. So it's just like that A flat dom seven at the third fret. So you got three, five, three, uh, four, three, three. And it goes back to that. And black's white today and days and night today. It goes back to that. With most guys today, A flat major to E flat major that women prize today. So with that, you got your index on the sixth fret of A, and then you use your ring finger to bar across the eighth fret of D, G, and B. Guys today, back to C minor, are nothing more than silly gigolos. Back to that uh, E flat nine chord. And though I'm not a great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose anything goes. So those are all the same chords from the verse. The only thing that's added is that coda. Um, may I say, so that's that same B flat minor seven chord from the verse. May I say before this record spins to a close, C7. So we're just taking that bar shape again, bringing it all the way up to the eighth fret, make a regular bar major chord, take off your pinky to get that dominant seven. And ba -ba -ba. I want back to the B flat minor seven. I want you to know the E flat nine. To know anything goes back home to the A flat major. And if you want to change it up, end on a nice different uh, chord. I ended on uh, a major seven there. So instead of just a regular A flat major chord, I do a flat major seven. 
So you can do that a couple ways. You can do it like this, where you are barring across the fourth fret, right? And then you've got your pinky on the sixth fret of A, middle on the fifth fret of D, and ring on the fifth fret of G. That's one way to do the major seven. The other way to do the major seven is index on the fourth fret of E, and then ring, and then you're gonna sort of use that same finger that's muting the A string, uh, or sorry, that same finger that's on the fourth fret of the E string, mute the A string. Ring finger on the fifth fret of D, pinky on the fifth fret of G, and then middle on the fourth fret of B. So again, you know, it's a little trickier, fewer notes. Um, so you can do either one or this. One way to spice it up. Um, obviously the rhythm's different, right? We're not playing with a full orchestra. So I introduce kind of uh, classic rock, palm muted, down strum, you know, four on the floor kind of feel to it. Um, if you listen to the Frank version, he's not doing that. He's playing with an orchestra. So you can, you know, change it up as you want, but that's what I was doing. I was doing these. Give it a little bit of an edge, especially when you're singing, do a little palm muting. And though I'm not a great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose. May I say before this record spins to a close? Like that. So again, open to interpretation, clearly. I changed it up myself. Um, I like this version a lot. It's a lot of fun to play. If anything, oh, sorry. If anything, just to uh, get introduced to some nice new chords. Um, it's a lot of fun. A little bit tricky with the bar chords, but a good way to build up that strength. And uh, yeah, it's a great tune. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, thanks for watching.